welcome to Emerald Meadows, your one-stop channel for all things RC, quilting, and 3D printing. Um, today we're going to be talking about the uh, WL Toys uh, Q222 uh, with um, auto uh, altitude, uh, altitude hold. Um, I'm always looking for um, a fun little craft to fly and uh, for FPV. Um, I use my sky zone goggles and I pretty much have everything running on the same frequencies on my planes and on my other quads and um, I bought the accessory camera pack. Uh, we won't be talking about this today but uh, you know I can it's pretty straightforward. But what I wanted to talk about was this uh, was this remarkable little quad the Q222. Maybe the best bang for the buck. I purchased this from Hobby King and I, I, what I what I feel is the best price. It, it, it's about a hundred dollars less um, American from Hobby King than it was from some of the other more popular sites like Banggood and AliExpress. So it was a good deal, and um, I, I took advantage of it and brought it in uh, because it just gives me another FPV vehicle. I wasn't expecting much, uh, but when I when I uh, got it up and 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 unboxed it and flew it, uh, I was impressed. I have to tell you that in order to get anything as equivalent to this, uh, you'd have to go into a NAS 32. Uh, I'm sorry, that's with altitude hold. You'd have to go to a NAS 32 or one of the more expensive, um, one of the more expensive quads in order to get some of the same features uh, that are uh, that are in this unit. Uh, it, we I use it for indoor flying. Over the winter time, uh, we fly in a gym. And uh, that keeps our skills up, and it's also fun. It, it, it gets us out once a week and uh, meet with our colleagues and, and friends. Um, and we have fun flying, and these are ideal for, for indoor flying. Now, I've taken my SEMAs and flown them outdoors, and they work well. There's, there's a range problem. Uh, and on the SEMA, I modified the antenna, uh, which is very popular. Uh, so I added a, a, an antenna with a ground and it really extended the range on the SEMA and I'll probably do the same uh, for uh, this radio uh, <clears throat> and I'll, I'll shoot a video on that. It isn't that hard. You have to be a bit careful and um, I have a list of a couple of parts or one part you need to buy assuming you have an antenna but there is a kind of a, a jumper that will allow you to connect uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the, um, the antenna to an internal cable. So uh, I'll if I have a chance, I'll do a video on that in the near future. Uh, let me just get a battery for this uh, for this machine. Just take a battery. Actually, the, the nice part about this is that it it uh, fits a lot of the E-Flight with the GST, the red GST plug. So uh, they fit um, they fit this model nicely, as well as it comes with its own 750 milliamp single cell. Um, on all the sites, uh, that's wrong. They always say a two cell. It's not. It's a one cell. A two cell will not fit. Uh, I'm sure the electronics would take a two cell, but it won't fit in the space provided. Unless you remove the camera, like I did with one of my other quads. Uh, remove the camera and then Velcro the battery uh, to the bottom. So uh, this is a unit starting up and the binding is quite straightforward. It will automatically bind. You don't need to touch any of the controls. Uh, it's an automatic bind function. Um, now the the radio is, is slightly different uh, than some of the others. Um, one of the myths is that it has a, a really great rate where it starts. Uh, so it starts out with uh, 40, 60, 80, and 100% rate. It has a return to home, which isn't really a return to home. A lot of these small crafts say they have a return to home. What it is is head tracking, and then when you pull the, um, when you, uh, pull the, the right stick towards you, it will come back in the direction that you started off from. As long as you can see the craft and you put it into headless mode and pull back, uh, you'll get the same thing as you do with, uh, with headlock. Now, be careful. I did have a problem. When you put it into return to home and it's in headlock mode, it will actually go away from you or it depends on whatever direction. These two are not compatible. So when you're in return to home mode, make sure headlock isn't on. So it's easier just to use the, um, the headlock function and then pull back on the stick and, and the quad should come back to you. Now as far as, um, as, far as controlling the uh, altitude, you have to push in on the right stick. Push down 
and the light, the green light becomes a solid color. That says that you're now in altitude hold. And I have to tell you, it's as good as any I've seen um, uh, for doing that project. So um, nothing else new about it. As you can see, I put the labels on it because I have, when I have two or three of these uh, radios, including my, my FR Sky, I forget what all of these functions do. So I have them labeled with camera, with that roll, that 360 roll I don't do often, and then return to home and headlock. So uh, that's what I, uh, that's how I remember each radio. And maybe it's because I'm getting older that I forget. Um, so this is the Q222 uh, from Hobby King. I will put a link to it. Uh, I'm not endorsing Hobby King in any way. It's just that I found that that was the best price. Um, it may not be that way when you look at it. So make sure you search the web and, and get the best deal. I'm all for uh, getting the best deal on these projects. So uh, we'll take a, a, a little look at this uh, altitude hold, like I said, you can spend a lot more money to get that altitude hold feature. Now it may become standard uh, in the near future uh, because they're always upgrading this technology. So altitude hold is great and if they can make a small one with a uh, GPS and a return to home, that'll be phenomenal. But altitude hold, definitely fun, gives you enough chance when you get it trimmed out. It'll hold this position. I can put my FPV goggles on and then without fear of this crashing to the ground or going up into outer space, uh, and then I can uh, have fun flying it. So let's take a look at, uh, at uh, some, um, some video of it uh, flying. Not that that's impressive, just so you see what the lights do uh, when, uh, so that you know what mode you're in. Okay, let's get started looking at the altitude hold. The manual is not readable. So uh, in order to make this altitude to work, you have to push in on the right stick uh, and you'll get a bit of a click. And that is, that's where you'll get your altitude hold. Um, the manual is absolutely garbage. But if you buy from China, I'm not telling you anything new. Altitude hold. And she is rock solid. I can tell you, she moves left, right, rotate around, a bit of glitches, but you know what? For the place, you cannot beat that feature. And if you're flying FPV indoors, definitely get this because it is worth just to have this ability so you can actually uh, control your plane, look at your different controls, and uh, do the job you want. Just remember, when you turn off the um, altitude hold, and if you have your throttle down too low, she'll do a quick drop, so be careful. And you notice that the, the light on the back, when solid, when she's in altitude hold. Solid light, altitude hold. Flashing light, not altitude hold. Anyway. Definitely, if you're thinking of getting a quad for indoor flying and for fun, this Q22 is really the one to buy. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video on the Q222. Um, the reason why I, I think this little video is important is that the manual that comes with this product is absolutely unreadable. It absolutely makes no sense. They could have written in here, blah, 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 and it would have made more sense. Uh, you try to make some sense out of the pictures, but the documentation is basically useless. Um, for those of you that have been flying, you kind of get the idea of what we can do. The camera, webcam, it's useless. Um, it, oh, by the way, this does come with a, with a Wi-Fi camera. Um, I didn't mention that because I, I added my own camera onto it. But it comes with a real remarkable Wi-Fi camera. And it actually, you can actually control it from uh, an Android app. Uh, I had some problems uh, in that if you touch the wrong part of the screen, you may hit the return to home button. So actually, I stopped using it. Uh, and I did use it for a little bit testing as a monitor. Uh, but be careful if you're using their app and you're using it to control. If you touch the wrong part in the screen, this craft is coming right back to you. It's like hitting the R return to home button on here. Um, 
so uh, it'll do crazy things on you and then come crashing um, so uh, just be careful with that uh, Android app uh, but it was good and like I said for the place it actually came with that Wi-Fi camera so um, I hope you enjoyed this video if you did uh, say like and if you want to see more of these videos please subscribe to my channel again manual I don't know the Chinese you would think they would by now invest in in better languages at least in uh, you know specialize in two to three different other other languages and then and then go from there and do it well but uh, right now these are uh, these manuals are really an embarrassment so anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed this video next time we'll do a little video on this uh, cool quadcopter from Hobby King as well this is the the uh, integrated PCB micro quad uh, I've flown it I've already taken it apart however uh, <laughs> it really was a fun fly K2, uh, KK 2.1. I have some other controllers, so hopefully if they work out, I'll do a video on those soon. So have a great day, and we uh, hope to see you soon at Emerald Meadows. Bye-bye.